Our arcade model is pretty clean, but there are still a few hard-to-reach faces that could be deleted. If we hide the arcade body again by selecting it and hitting Ctrl H, we can see a lot more faces that aren't needed beneath the buttons. Unfortunately, selecting each of these faces and deleting them all would be a pretty tedious process. But Maya has some great component selection tools that can be huge time savers when you're modeling. We've already learned that double-clicking on an edge will select the entire edge loop. So I'll right-click on one of the button rim objects to switch to edge component mode, then double-click on an edge to select a loop. Hitting the backspace key now will delete the entire edge loop, but it won't delete the faces or vertices. So I'll undo by pressing Ctrl Z and make use of another command to convert the edge selection to a face selection. With the edge loop selected, I'll go to Select, Convert Selection to Faces, or I could also hit Ctrl F11 on the keyboard. All the faces that are connected to these edges are now selected and can easily be deleted by hitting the backspace button. I'll repeat this process for the other five button rims, selecting each one, switching to edge mode, double clicking to select an edge loop, then hitting Ctrl F11 to convert the selection to faces before deleting. The bottom caps of the arcade buttons pose a similar challenge, but these faces aren't all connected to a single edge loop. So another selection option is to right-click over the mesh and switch to vertex component mode. Then select the center vertex on the bottom cap of a button. Now I'll grow the selection to include all of the neighboring vertices. You can do this from the main menu by choosing Select, Grow, but it's much easier to use the greater than and less than keys to grow and shrink a selection. By hitting the greater than key three times, then converting the selection to faces by hitting Ctrl F11, I can quickly grab all these extra faces and hit backspace to delete them. The grow and shrink commands can be used with any component type, so they come in handy quite a bit. We'll repeat this process for each button to complete the polygon reduction process. In the next video, we'll explore tips for moving or deleting edges. We'll also take a look at an easy way to eliminate those n-gons that were created by the bevel tool, and we'll explore a couple additional tools for cleaning up and modifying geometry.